at Southampton as we get this game underway Manchester City attacking the and, uh, PSG with their scoring I mean there was no question about his calibre because he had proved himself and here come Manchester City Gnadze Georgian international who was tracked for some six months by Francis Lee the chairman at uh, Manchester City before he signed Wide, which kept him out for some nine months and he missed the finals and uh, Ireland never really did replace him did they? No they didn't I mean the man who has scored he scored a lot of goals for them yeah he's scored about 54 goals for Ireland so I mean if you have somebody of that caliber you really you really got to look to him. The dancing feet there of Giorgio Pinladze or ten in fact they scored they've conceded nine and they really do have a problem Nigel Clough playing it square. His debut this season. In fact, you'll remember that game. He came on as a substitute and got sent off. It was the game against Queen's Park Rangers. Moving it back. Kit Simons. A surprising play this from Manchester City. And the shot coming in. And just over the top. Kinladze again. They call him Mr. Twinkle Toes in Manchester, so you can understand why. Well, they're certainly not playing like a team that's down near the bottom of the Premiership. This one just takes off a little bit over the top. It's a good shot. But once again, he has time, and he doesn't miss by as much as Ginola does on the opposite end. But Manchester City look anything like... A player who was signed from Dinamo Tbilisi back in July of last year, and he really has become a firm favourite. Here he goes again. Just uh, rise over challenges and then just can't put the finishing touches to a move that he started himself important for Newcastle that they recover from that loss against West Ham of course they've been knocked out of the League Cup Clough releasing it quickly Quinn torment defences and of course uh, it was Nicky some of his father used to torment defences here he used to play the same position in fact as uh, Ginola in his heyday with Manchester City getting very very close to missing a game through suspension Larze plays it forward Quinn there with a the nod back looking for changing face of English football you've got a German goalkeeper for Manchester City you've got goalkeeper from the Czech Republic for Newcastle United and well, Russell's playing well today. I mean, when the ball's not going up front, he's making sure he comes out, and he, he's in added dimension out there now for a city. Kilanze. And Kilanze there, just a. Uh, the former player at Dinamo Tbilisi. Take the free kick himself, plays it to the far post, looking for Quinn. Nigel Clough. Uh, just in front of the defenders that time now, King Kilanze. And taken. Spree up. And the reports coming out of uh, Newcastle are to be believed too, Mike. He's not that popular with a lot of the players. I'm, I'm not sure why. He doesn't just seem to... Uh, Beardsley trying to line up the shot. As Priya said, was I not foul, ref? No penalty. Here come Manchester City. And he must have learnt those trips from his father. Here's Steve Lomas. Nice back heel that time, Kindlaze. Now Quinn. Kindlaze again. Just won't uh, fall for him to have the shot, but he's got past two, got past three, and couldn't quite get past the fourth. But beautiful skills there from the international from Georgia. As we have a look at this again, Tommy. Yeah, you can see how many cuts he makes. He's going to push himself into the box, keep pushing on. This is the one that lets him away, and it's just taken away there. Well, this is Brown. Slides there again. Now Clough. City playing good football for Laze again. Nice ball played across it. He was the player who uh, the controversial penalty was called against, wasn't he? When he supposedly fouled Cantona on the box. And now Keith Curl. Nice chip forward. Kinladze. Still Kinladze. Twisted and turning. Kinladze. First shot is stopped to the far post and now Quinn 
and Manchester City have gone back in the lead. Noel Quinn gets his second, but put that down to Kindladze. Oh, beautiful play by Kindladze. Kindladze just lofts it in the air after his initial shot is stopped. He fires it low this time, the keeper knocks it down. Look at Quinn standing all alone. Kindladze looks up. This is great finishing by Quinn, but the ball is almost over the end line. Might have a few kind words for Quinn after it's all over. He might just buy him a drink. He certainly will. Buy him a lot of them if, if they win. It's Albert and headed clear there by Niall Quinn. But not as he's scoring goals, Tommy, he's stopping them because that was headed for the back of the net. These are desperate times for Manchester City. Of course, they uh, have had spells in the second division. They're both that type of player, aren't they? Oh, yeah, they give all on the field, and when it's over, it's over. And Lanze. Threading that one through for Uwe Rosler. We've got the go-ahead goal for Manchester City. He scored one in the first half and now he scores again in the second half. Here come Manchester City. Well, although we've only got uh, some six or mi minutes or so left as Kings Larze's shot goes uh, agonisingly wide if you're a Manchester City supporter. I was just going to say something, with six minutes left, you'd be a very brave man to bet that we're not going to see some more goals. Well, that's for sure, and this man is certainly capable of scoring one. And, of course, it is, uh, he's the first man that Alan Ball signed here at uh, Manchester City. And what a difference he's making. Look at that. I mean, he took on four or five players. So what a tremendous game at Main Road. Manchester City 3, Newcastle United 3. That's how it finished.